Out here in the garage doing a little bit of maintenance and something that's really important to take care of are your wheel bearings on any boat trailer. On my tracker, it's really simple to be able to take care of the wheel bearings on this boat. This is something that I don't check every time I go fishing. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that I do, but it is something I pay attention to, you know, once a month, every couple months or something like that. And I use this boat a good bit. Now I have taken it on long trips to Minnesota and to Florida and to different places like that. And certainly before and during those trips, it's something I really pay a lot of attention to. The trips around home, you know, 30 minutes here, an hour there, I don't check them before every trip, but I check them, you know, periodically, maybe once a month or something, but just simple maintenance, something that's really, really easy to do that's going to give you a lot of life out of your wheel bearings is just simply greasing them on a regular basis, you know. So every six months or so, just pull this little cap off right here, and I've already wiped it down a little bit with the towel to uh, try to clean it off, but just pull that cap off. You can use a flat screwdriver to do that. But that grease fitting is, is it right there inside of that. You can take your, take your towel, take your rag, just wipe off a little bit of that excess grease just so where you can see that nice and easy. Take the cap off your grease gun. Just snap it onto that fitting. Right there real nice and easy, which it didn't do because of that cotter pin. Let me go grab a screwdriver. I've got a cotter pin in the way. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so you can see this cotter pin, that's what actually holds that nut inside there that, that holds the hub assembly on. It's over here touching that grease fitting, so I'm not able to get my grease fitting on there all the way. So I'm just gonna get that screwdriver against there. I'm just gonna bend that over a little bit, just out of the way enough. Now, I should be able to snap that grease fitting on. Like that. So it's always good. Hold one hand, hold it on there. And with the other hand, be able to work the handle on that grease gun. And you know, if you give it five or six good squeezes of grease, that should be plenty. If you can, if you, after just a couple squeezes, you start seeing grease move, you know, start coming out around the edges or something, then, you, then you're good. But five or six good squeezes of grease, that amount of grease is gonna stay in there a long time. It's gonna give you plenty of miles of service. You do that every three months or every six months, you're gonna be set. Those wheel bearings will last you a long time. Then to finish it up, just take that little water seal cap. It's always a good time to wipe it off, you know, kind of kind of check the edges, make sure there's no deterioration no cracks in it or anything. Just look at it real good and then snap it back on. One thing I didn't mention when I first pulled that off was actually just inspecting the, you know, what that grease looked like. If it had been real milky, you know, white, or if I had taken this off and water was back there, that is the first indication that you've got a bad problem. So if you see that, you see, you know, you see water milky, or if you see some rust, you probably at that point need to take it to your Bass Pro, your local dealer somewhere and get them to pull that hub apart. Unless you want to do that yourself. If you've got the, a press and everything and you can, can pull that apart, go right ahead. But for me, I'd be taking it to the dealer and, uh, and letting them do that. But that's definitely the first thing that you want to look at when you first pull that cap off. And just snap it back on. Make sure it seats in all the way around. Should be nice and flush just like that. You're good to go.